Hey, it's Stephen Student here, and today I'm going to be working again with JavaFX and Scene Builder, and I'm going to be demonstrating how to add more corners to a polygon. Because the problem is it's actually a bit tricky, because when you just add a normal polygon, it will be a triangle, and we only have three corners. And even then, we can see inside the layout, there's like a points tab. It's actually locked, and we can't add any point to our triangle. But what we actually can do if I just save it now and then use my sample.fxml document, I actually can access my polygon. And if I just scroll a bit to the right, I can actually see the point section, which was locked inside Scene Builder. But here, I can actually add another point. So, how it works, we have like the first point, the second point, and the third point. And it is all double values. So, you need to add like a dot zero to tell it it's a double. So what we can simply do is just add a point by doing like comma 10 dot zero. First x value of our new point, comma 10 dot zero. And as you see, if I just save it now, I just let it run for a second and go inside my scene builder, we now added another point. And if I again then save this, and run it, we have a square. Oh, let's try adding another point. Again, comma 10 dot zero, comma 10 dot, dot zero. To edit another point, and we go inside scene builder, we have another point, so now it is a hexagon. No, pentagon. <laughs> We've got five corners. And again, we can save this and run it, and now we have five. Oh, let's try adding another one. And be aware, sometimes it can be a bit tricky when adding something in our FXML, we might need to run it before it updates inside Scene Builder. Oh, we're close to. Just gonna open it again. There we go. So now we have six corners. As mentioned, sometimes you might need to run it before it updates inside Scene Builder. And when you save inside Scene Builder, it might sometimes ask you to overwrite because you made changes manually inside a, the FXML document. But just press OK. But this is how we have a hexagon now. And I actually don't know if there is a limit to this. There might be, there might not be. Let's just try adding another point for the sake of it. Now we have seven points. So as you can see, this way we are able to keep adding points and then model it inside a scene builder, which makes it quite a bit easier to actually create the shape, the side, the side shape we want, because these points values don't make too much sense to us. But that is basically how you can change the amount of corners on a polygon at the polygon and then open your sample fxml or whatever fxml document name you're using and then inside your fxml file change the amount of points in your polygon so if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe and i wish you all a wonderful day